Well, here we are on the infamous Sand Dollar Island down by Marco Island, Florida. There's our ride, the Salt Wife. We came here from Goodland. I did a little live feed of our trip from Goodland to Sand Dollar Island. You can check that out later if you didn't see it. Just a cruise up the Marco River to here. There's our deck boat that we came in on, the Salt Wife. There's Captain Donnie from Salt Life Transportation back there. Checking things out. Nice little deck boat. We're gonna walk the beach here and look for shells. See what we find. See for ourselves. I know y'all have been seeing all these amazing posts on Facebook of all these incredible shells. Well, let's just go see if it's all true. But there's our ride. Breezy out here. Hideaway Beach in the background. Hideaway Beach on Marco Island there. Isles of Capri as I pan to the left. We're gonna get out on the Gulf side here. The Gulf side of the island. We'll just walk the shoreline. There's a lot of people out here with bags shelling. I'm probably not even gonna, I'm not gonna put anything in my pocket. Unless it's small. If we come across any of those big monsters. It looks like the shell tour has already kind of scoured this beach here. I did see something neat out in the water, if it's still there. Look at that water though, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. By the way, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Everybody's wanting to see something different. Well, here you go. Show your appreciation, send some stars. Check this out, down here in the water. A big, a big live lightning whelk down here. Check it out, look at that. A big live lightning whelk. Look at the size of that. Beautiful. Isn't that neat? That is a big one. That is awesome. You can see his trap door there. Now there's our first, our first big shell. Let's see if there's any more. Big old lightning well. Look at the barnacles all over it. Wow, that's a monster. All right, put him back down in the water gently. continue around the bend. That is the Gulf of Mexico there. This is a barrier. It's not really an island. It's a spit. If you just walk all the way around this bend and down to the south, you can get onto Marco Island down by Tiger Tail Beach. There goes the sheriff zipping in, zipping in after somebody, going after somebody.
So I need everybody to do me a big favor. Go like Salt Life, Salt Life Transportation. Look for Salt Life Transportation on Facebook and give their page a like. Donnie, the owner, was kind enough to give me a ride down here today in his boat, in his personal boat. Which we're trying to find a captain. If we can find a captain, we're going to... We'll start bringing people down here and let them do some shelling. Run some shell tours down here. All oh, little tiny shells here. This is just one of the many shelling destinations. There's other, other little less explored islands down to the south. This is a very popular stop though for tour boats. I'm more interested in seeing the live shells. If there's any live shells, what's live out in the water here? That's more exciting to me. There's a little crab down there looking at me. Some kind of little crab crawling around down there. <laughs> or is it a, oh, it's a shell. I couldn't tell there. It's a, I thought it was a crab. The waves, oh, it's a piece of an old pen shell. An old broken pen. I thought it was a little crab. The reflections were beaming me right in the eyeball. Little olive shell rolling around in the surf. So far, it looks like Del Nor Wiggins, except for that big whelk shell, that live whelk shell. Seeing pretty much all the same stuff. I want to see all those beautiful cone shells that I've been seeing pictures of. All those giant horse conks. I love these clouds. The sun's just peeking in and out from all these little puffy clouds here. So here's a nice little pile right here. Nice little pile of shells, but I want everybody, there's been a lot of people here. I want to get around the corner and down the beach a little ways. This looks familiar, doesn't it? It looks like Del Nor Wiggins. Scallops and slipper shells and little baby whelks and old fighting conks. Nothing else you get to see this little island. I don't know how long the tour boats last, stay out here, how long they give you an hour or two to shell. Here's a cockle shell, a big old cockle shell. Lots of sand stuff here. Lots of what we see at Wiggins. The slipper shells. 
looks like Wiggins, lots of cockle shells, all different sizes. There's a spiny cockle. Another little smaller one. There's like a little ridge of shells down here. You see this little pile, this little ridge along here? Unfortunately, I'm not on an unlimited time frame here. I am on a schedule today, but I did want to come down here and show you this island. I know a lot of you have been talking about shelling trips. to see it for myself. Once I think once we get off the beaten path there we might see a few more things. Good morning. A lot of rental boats, a lot of rental pontoon boats on their way out here. A little windy out here, a little bumpy, a little bumpy for a small boat. anything in the water. I'm looking in the water, I'm looking on the beach. Looking for that one in a million find. Sand Dollar Island. At the, I'm thinking this is like the northeast corner of Marco Island. I'd say the northeast corner of Marco Island. I think you got to get here nice and early. Watch the tide charts and get here nice and early. Beat, beat the crowd. Beat all the tour boats. But we're slowly making a left-hand turn and heading. We've got to be heading south here. Colors are just incredible.
especially in some of our turkey wing shells. Yes, we can't go anywhere without finding an old turkey wing. This one's kind of seen better days here. Old turkey wing. A lot of fighting conks out here. No shortage of fighting conks. The Florida fighting conks, lots of them. Come on, sunshine. Where's the sunlight? So this is a good, a nice long walk if you wanna, I don't know how long it is. It's a little bit of a hike if you wanna walk, walk the whole coastline here. Hmm. Where's those secret spots? <laughs> looks like a place where you need to really get on your hands and knees and just start sifting through all the shells. Seen lots of big, big old whelks, pieces of old whelk shells. You know, like I said, just like Del Norwegians, you know, we see the same kind of stuff up there. Pieces of the whelks, the big old whelks, pieces of, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Something's making me cough here.
there's more people up around the corner. Well, the big thing here is lots of fighting conks. You look here where the Water is spreading, starting to spread the shells out as the tide's coming in. There comes the sun. Beautiful. kind of wrapping around here. There's an old abandoned boat up here. Well, so far I am not impressed at all with the shelling here. I certainly wouldn't want to pay a lot of money to come out on a day like today and go shelling. Unless, I guess, unless of course I'm a tourist. First time out on an island or something. I'm sure just like at our beach at Del Nor Wiggins, this little island has its moments where it gets covered in shells, especially after big storms. gonna go up to this boat and then we're gonna turn around and head back I shall probably just end the live feed and we might go somewhere else we'll see what happens we'll see what happens but now we know what sand dollar island looks like at Sand Dollar Island. Get a really good deal on that boat right there. A 
real good deal. Sad, sad. Old sailboat. Good morning. All right, well, I'm gonna head back to the boat. Back to the salt wife. We'll see what happens. Maybe I shall return with another live feed. So stay tuned. You never know if I'm going to pop up again on your mobile device. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a friend. Thanks for being a supporter. Those of you that are financial supporters, thank you. All right, if I don't see you later today, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Stay safe and stay healthy. Tally ho, everyone, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.